What's up? <clears throat> All right, everybody. Today we are here with the UL, not the Crown 4 mod, but the Checkmate mod. This is the mod that comes as a kit with the UL Crown 4 tank. Now, I don't have the kit, I just have the mod. So, we are gonna just review the mod. Not that I would use the sub ohm tank anyways. So, without further ado, I'm gonna say I tried my down low in a different camera setting. I put it on aperture priority mode. I tried fiddling around with a few things. I've been taking some classes or whatever you wanna call it. I'm trying to learn some shit. So I don't know how the down low looks yet because I haven't brought it into the computer. But you got, whoa, holy shit. I should probably edit that out, but I won't. You guys tell me if it looks worse or better. You know, I'm trying to improve with this whole camera bullshit. So let me know what you think. Let's drop it down low, take a look at the mod, come back up top, and I'll give you my final thoughts on the UL Checkmate mod. All right, we are down low with the UL Crown mod. This is called the Checkmate mod, not the Crown 4 mod. This is just the mod, so on the package, yada yada yada, bullshit nicotine thing that only applies if you put nicotine inside of it. Color, red. Side of the mod here, you will have social media the back, kick contents, warning, yada yada yada, designed by UL, and some other warning shits over here, 18 plus, UL, and UL. Sliding open the box like so, you are going to have the inside package, which does have these cutouts very very nice you will inside the box you're gonna get this very in-depth user manual you're gonna get a little you well warning here this is gonna say do not use broken insulated skin batteries very very important nobody is above this another warning card This is going to be a little piece of foam to protect your mod, bath salts, and a USB card, what, or not USB card, USB cord, which uh, do not charge your mod with that. That will just be for form firmware updates. Now, the mod itself. It's a very shiny mod here, so let me see if I can get this to pick up any better okay. yeah there she is I'm sure you guys have seen this we'll start in the battery tray you're gonna have this little lip right here to get inside of the battery tray you will have two magnets here one big one towards the bottom back of the door is gonna have you Wells website so there's the door chip set will be up in here two 18650 batteries it will have a ribbon you will have positive marked up here in black negative po negative positive pretty simple clean battery tray nothing out of the ordinary here so pull your ribbon over it like that and then Throw your batteries in. Battery door. Now, before I received this mod, I was like, okay, this thing is built like a turd. The battery door is actually one of the most solid I've felt in a long time. There is only a tiny bit of play up and down. Left and right, there is none whatsoever. But up and down, there is a little wiggle room that could have been fixed, but it is pretty good so that's your battery door back of the mod is just going to be black 
other side of the mod is just going to have the same crown and design. These sides of the mods, these are stickers here. You could definitely peel those off if you wanted to. Bottom is going to have these little feet here and huge venting holes. Now, I guess these rubber feet were supposed to um, help it stand up. It does keep the mod from getting scratched when you set it down. But uh, this thing is very flimsy. You can see when I set it down, it wobbles back and forth. Yeah, and I don't like that at all. Coming to the 510, you will have a spring-loaded 510. And it's going to have this little platform up here. And that is going to fit a 25 millimeter. Absolutely perfect. Got the Kelpie RTA. And it looks like it was built for this mod. They just pair together very nicely. So yeah, 25 millimeter. Absolutely no overhang. And it comes right to the edge perfectly. So no more than 25 on that 510 pin. Not 510 pin, the 510 uh, little shelf. So coming to the screen, you got, I've got it in wattage mode right now. Up here is going to be your puff counter. Or no, sorry, not puff counter. You're going to have your seconds here of the hit. Voltage. I'm just trying to, uh, let me come down here, see if I can just zoom in on that. Okay, now I'll try to be a little more stable. So you got the seconds here. Here you're going to have your voltage, ohms, battery indicator, which also you're going to have the percentage above that. Come on. Wattage down, which I have it locked. Let me unlock that. It's going to be wattage down on this side wattage up here you can see it could scroll a little bit faster but I mean hey it is what it is gets 200 let off click it again it will round robin now pressing the fire button and the negative wattage button at the same time that will lock your entire mod so you won't be able to fire it and you will not be able to change your wattage Press them again to unlock it. Pressing the wattage up and the fire button at the same time. I like this. That will lock just your wattage. So you will be able to fire it. Press them again to unlock it. Three clicks of the fire button. One, two, three. You'll see your power mode will be blinking. You can scroll with the wattage things here. TCR. What does that say? Okay. Stainless steel 904. Now, if you have the Crown 4 tank, it will have stainless steel 904 round wire coils. This right now is the only mod that can do 904. I guess that's the stainless that they use in uh, Rolex watches and stuff like that. So, and then that'll bring you back to power mode. After you select with the fire button, stainless steel, you will be able to change. One, two, three fire now you can change your wattage select that and then you'll be able to change your temperature now it will do Fahrenheit or Celsius and it will round robin once you reach the limit of those so I'm gonna put it back in power mode one two three that'll highlight power boom good to go now obviously this will do all the other types of metals but um, I just run it right in power mode so yeah let's do a quick size comparison here 
that is you can see the height difference between the topside dual and the crown mod very pretty small mod feels good in the hand so let's go back up top and I will give you my opinions on the crown 4 checkmate mod You guys want to see me a little closer? Should I, should I bring this in a little bit? Hi. Hi. Alright. <clears throat> so we're back up top. UL. Crown 4. Checkmate mod. Mod only. No Crown 4 tank. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this quick. It's a pretty simple, basic mod. Shout out to Des Turner. Appreciate you, brother. Um, I'm going to say right off the bat, before I got this mod, I was not interested in picking it up. I saw it online. I saw some videos for it. To me, it looked cheesy as fuck. It looked super chintzy. And like, honestly, I probably would have bought a smoke mod over this mod. Um, with that being said, I'm going to jump straight into cons. <clears throat> cons. First one's gonna be subjective. Those side panels, um, I mean, I just think they're too much. That's probably the only reason why I'm not gonna use this mod anymore. Um, because that's just, it's just too much. Like, I don't want that little design and crown on a mod and that I'm carrying around outside with me in fucking New York, I'm gonna get beat up. So that's a con number one. Con number two is a much bigger con. So they got these little rubber feet here on the bottom of the mod. Now, I guess that helps with um, the bottom of the mod won't get scuffed up because when you set it down, it's not rubbing the actual mod itself. Problem is that the mod is so thin and those rubber feet kind of put it up on stilts that it's super, super fucking wobbly once I set it down on anything. So honestly, when I use this mod, I, I just, I have to set it, I use it with RTAs, so I set it down right on its side because I know all it's going to take is a little tiny bump on a desk or something like that and it's going right over. You set it down and it, it wobbles before it catches its balance. So that's, that's also a huge con. Um, leading over into the middle of pros and cons, I'm not going to give this a pro or a con because it's going to be what you want but I just want to point this out the way that that 510 area is with that little lip around it 25s sit perfect on it and they look amazing the only problem is if you have anything smaller than a 25 now you got that little cup run like that little circular area running around the top of the mod and if you put a 24 or a 22 or whatever on it it's gonna it looks a little funky um, also Obviously, if you put a 26 or anything bigger than a 25 on it, it's going to overhang that whole entire circle area, and it's it's going to be some pretty ugly overhang. Some mods can get away with a little bit of overhang, but this one, because of how it's designed, it just looks ridiculous. However, if you put a 25 on it, it looks perfect. Whatever 25, I mean, it looks like it was made to be on there. So I'm not going to give that a pro or a con. Um, it's just not very versatile. Now... <clears throat> That's really all I have for negative things. It feels great in the hand, although the door could have been just a touch more solid with the um, moving back and forth. It doesn't move, okay, it does move a little bit up and down, but not left and right. And you can hold this mod in your hand and the door's not gonna move. The only way it's really gonna move is if you take it and try to move it up and down. But other than that, it's pretty solid. The magnets are super strong. And overall, I was really, really surprised that this mod felt so solid. It, it looked super chintzy online. And I guess that has to do with the little sticker on the side with the little crown. But it looks super chintzy. Now, that little crown on the fire button, I thought, I, I thought that was hideous. And I don't think it's good looking. But it is nice when you're using the mod. It helps you 
locate that fire button super fast and it kind of does feel good under the thumb or the pointer finger. You can hold this mod and finger fire it or you can hold it and thumb fire it in either hand. It's perfect. I'm left handed but I'm also ambidextrous so I use both hands. It feels great no matter which way in either hand. So <clears throat> the menu system is great. The mod fire is good. It, it doesn't have a long ramp up time. It's super simple. It has a locking feature for just the wattage up and down or it has a locking feature for all the buttons. It's a super simple menu system. I actually enjoy it a lot. It's a very, very good mod as far as the menu system is concerned. It's accurate with reading ohms and um, the only thing it really doesn't have is a puff counter but personally I don't give a shit about a puff counter. And uh... Yeah, so basically this mod did surprise me. The one thing it does have a main issue with is standing up on its own, um, which is kind of a big deal, and it scares me a lot. Whenever I have this mod, I'm like, the only thing I'm ever thinking is I can't put this down, I gotta lean it, lay it down, something. So that's like the main, main issue with this mod. But other than that, I mean, it is a good mod. Another pro is that it is the only mod that does 904 stainless. Now, granted, the only coils that have 904 stainless are the Crown 4 coils. But it is the only mod that has it, so it's worth mentioning. So yeah, I'm going to end it there. Um, because it's, it's not much more to talk about here. So, <clears throat> I'll see you guys with a juicer review tomorrow, and next week we will be jumping into some RDAs or RTAs, and I'll be building some shit for you. I just wanted to get a couple of mods out this week. So, everybody, have a great weekend. We'll see you Sunday night. Yeah.